after you've downloaded the player and ran the install, the next thing you want to do is check that it's working and talk with Windows Media Player. The first thing you do is click on the icon for Windows Media Player near the start bar. On that. If you haven't used the Windows Media Player before, it will end up looking like this, which is not that friendly. We prefer you to use it in a different mode, Tool Options. The way that you bring up the Tool Options is you press the Control and the M button. Then suddenly you see File, View, Play and Tools. The other thing which we suggest you do is actually put it in a different view mode. Click on View and put it in the Skin mode or the Control and 2. This then looks like a standard player. You click on Tools, Plugins and VPedal Windows Media Player plugin should be ticked. If it's not like this, please ensure it is. So now I've ticked it, it should be back there again. Another thing you should do before you play is uh, create a shortcut for the settings. The settings dialog is installed along with the installation, so we click on the start bar, all programs, navigate to the media player subdirectory, and then you'll see the settings. I suggest you create a shortcut, so right click on your mouse, go up to send to, which is there, and you want to create a desktop icon. And there it is there, like a pen and a paper. Double clicking on that brings up a dialog which allows you to have control of the plugin. Default settings are when you press the fast forward pedal, it moves in jumps of five seconds and reverse similarly. Then the release seconds is really the auto backspace. Currently that's set to two seconds, but you can set it to any number. Make it three. And the tap enabled means that you don't have to keep pressing your pedal to keep it playing. But in this case, we'll just leave it. You press the close button, and then that will change the way that the media player plugin works. File, open, then. Let's stop that, that started automatically, but now I'm going to press the pedal. Now I'm holding it down, but what you want to see is what happens when I take the foot, foot off the pedal. If you look at there, we're nearly at um, 16 seconds, 18 seconds, at 20 seconds I'll let it release. And now you can see it's back to 17 seconds. That's the auto backspace in operation. See, basically it then moved back three seconds. If that's too much, let's open up the settings and change the value. Let's make it one second. Close. Move this up so it's midway through. 1940. Back one second. The V pedal Windows Media Player plugin.